you have been assigned as the project manager for a new project at your organization to develop a new customer relationship management system. This is a large scale project characterized by a complex integration, a diverse group of stakeholders and fairly understood requirements. Additionally, the customer is looking for incremental delivery of the system. Considering these factors, which lifecycle approach would you consider most suitable for this project? So looks like it's a software, but a large scale, has diverse group of stakeholder, complex integration, and stakeholder believe that requirements is fairly understood. Yeah? And at the same time, we are looking for incremental delivery. So let's see what are the options and out of those options, we need to select a life cycle for this project. Option A, adopt a predictive methodology as it provides a structural approach which is suitable for large scale project with complex integration. A possibility, the only question mark here is that the question is indicating fairly understood requirement. It is not showing that it is well understood requirement, the first question mark. The second is the question is clearly showing that stakeholders are looking for incremental delivery. So directly going to predictive may not be a, a good idea. Let's see if we have a better options. Option B, choose an agile methodology focusing on iterative and incremental development, adapting to changing requirements and stakeholders feedback. Good idea in general, but the question is clearly saying that's a complex, it requires diversified group and stakeholder believes that they have a fairly understood requirement. So if you recall, we spoke about the agile suitability filters and all, usually in a complex and large environment, just going pure adaptive may not be suitable. Let's see if we have a other options. Option C, implement a hybrid methodology combining element of both predictive and agile approaches to manage different aspects of the project effectively. In general, hybrid can work in any situation because we don't know exactly what hybrid composition this option is talking about. It could be 80% agile and 20% predictive, but we know in this particular context, pure approach, be it adaptive or be it predictive is not suitable because it has an element of mixture. In general, by default, when we are handling PMP exam questions, we usually prefer hybrid as a, as a first choice. And then we figure it out. Is there any way to go to predictive or adaptive side? So option C to me looks great because it is proposing the hybrid way of working. Option D, select a critical path method emphasizing the sequence and duration of, your, of the project task to ensure timely delivery within a structural framework. So critical path method is a, a particular scheduling technique. It is not a, just a life cycle and it can be used in predictive and hybrid approaches uh, uh, that's there. In the pure adaptive approaches, we use the, the, the different way of sprinting and stories and an incremental planning thing rather release planning rather than doing critical path method. So it is not fitting well because we need to select a life cycle approach. So it could be either predictive, adaptive or hybrid. Since the question is indicating the elements of, of adaptive and predictive both, we go with option C, which is hybrid approach. This particular question maps to the ECO task, task number 13. Yeah, the process domain task number 13, which talks about determine appropriate project methodology, method and practices. Overall, the topic which we are touching in this question is project lifecycle selection. So elements of project lifecycle selection uh, uh, and, and identifying based on the change volatility, the size of project, the complexity and delivery cadence, we need to recommend a particular life cycle.